my father he used to tell me stories about his own land landscape filled with mountains pastures there's this pretty monastery on a cliff below that is the town and then there are rivers streams flowing and apart from that a bustling uh, bazaar scene going on so it was basically life in tranquility peaceful everything got spoiled in the year 1949 when the red chinese first started doing it he still remembers the incidents which took place how he had to run from that place and how he ended up as a refugee in india I'm a son of that Tibet, and that Tibet is calling us. Come on, my son. In real world, the question is not a violence or non-violence. The question is whether you can justify violence. Independence is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. Even His Holiness accepts that. Just as we chased the torch and exposed the torch, we chased and exposed China's occupation of Tibet. The struggle is not just for freedom; it is a struggle for survival. Take the fuck away, okay? We have to do something. What? What shall we do now? What do you think best solution for us?